If you've been to the grocery store or a gas pump, this is not going to surprise you. Nearly everything we buy is getting more expensive. The latest consumer price index was just released. It's the general gauge of how much things cost. And for the first time in many years, inflation has jumped significantly. NBC Barry's Robert Honda joins us from a popular discount gas station in San Jose with more on what the experts are predicting about what's going to happen to our prices in the near future and if there's anything that we can do about it. Robert. Well, this gas and shop on McKee Road in San Jose has the lowest listed prices in the South Bay. And a lot of people here told us when you're trying to keep up with costs, this is a good place to start. Alonzo Parks loves his classic 1949 Dodge Coronet, and there's a reason he keeps coming back to this gas station. There's a price to pay to drive a lot, a price that keeps going up. Yes, it's very expensive to buy gas for. Gas prices is climbing, so it's not good for us as the consumers. In fact, the new consumer price index shows that after years of relatively low inflation, the inflation rate took a moderate leap, and it shows how small increases add up. While the overall cost of goods went up 0.4% in September, that's an overall hike of almost 5.5% from the same period a year ago. The index also shows how gas prices and food play a big part, with gas going up 1.2% for a whopping 42% hike over the year. And food prices, especially meat, are more than 12% higher than a year ago. The chair of San Jose State University's Economics Department says he believes the Federal Reserve will use tools such as controlling interest rates to stabilize inflation, but advises working people to try to get a pay raise as well as put whatever they can afford in interest-bearing accounts. It's good to have some cash reserves for emergencies. If you have all your money in cash, then the value of that's going to go down as, as the price level goes up. 90-year-old Dale Crotick agrees and says she also takes the time to clip coupons and check ads for discounts and bargains. The CPI report doesn't phase her much. Prices have changed a lot in my 90 years. So. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't surprise you then? Yeah, no, it doesn't. <laughs> Do you think it's going to get better? Oh, well, I keep saying it can't get much worse. <laughs> Dale might be right. Many Federal Reserve analysts say they do expect inflation to subside. But if energy and food costs are driving inflation, it might be hard to convince people who eat and drive. In San Jose, Robert Honda, NBC Bay Area News.